everybody welcome to the next episode of all right so a while back we got asked a question by one of our viewers Vickers van Royen about how hard you can ride a hardtail and we figured that was a great question to ask because let's face it hardtails less expensive and easier to maintain than dual suspension bikes and they're a lot more capable than you think so today we're here with Nils Hansen who is let's just say an expert at how hard you could ride a hardtail he's won many enduros down here in the western cape he's got woodstock woodstock cycle works as his business so bicycles are his passion and he knows what he's talking about so with that in mind let's check out his bike Nils, welcome thank you very much and uh, let's see how far we can go on this hardtail um hi guys so this is my um the Mercer Hungry Monkey version 2.0, which I call it. This bike has been specifically set up for more trail riding than say cross country or long XC races. Um, it's a 650B hardtail running a 140 mm uh, RockShock Revelation. It's a really nice fork for all types of riding. I've chosen the, the, the beefier tires I could fit in here. So it's a 2.6 Maxxis. The City is 2.4 at the rear. The best possible brakes I could fit on here were a set of guides back in the day. Um, the most important part on a bike like this, I would say, is the dropper. You can't take a, an XC bike with a high seat post and expect to ride proper trails. So a frame that can take a dropper, um, 100 to 150 more is essential. Talking about the drivetrain, it's just a, a SRAM 1x11 running an XDR crank. I ride this bike really anywhere, man. If it's, if it's enduro, if it's cross country, if it's longer, short course XC racing, I've really used this bike everywhere. So where do you test the hardtail and really put it through its paces? Well, there's lots of options down here in the Western Cape, but the trail that we have chosen today is uh, the single track trail that descends down uh, near Plum Pudding. It's also a section of trail that's used in the prologue of the Apps Cape Epic. And then from there, we're going to make our way down to the remaining trails um, around Rhodes Memorial, a little bit into UCT as well. And today it's a mixture of some good gravity, some loose stuff, a couple of jumps here and there, some berms to be railed, and uh, no doubt, Nils is going to shred it. goes without saying that Nils absolutely destroyed that plum pudding descent there um, but Nils uh, not everyone is is a wild man like you are on a hard tail <clears throat> what advice would you give people that are attempting this and and wanting to progress as well in approaching this type of trail on a hard tail cool so um I think the, the secret to riding a hard tail is getting more and more in tune with how your body is reacting on the bike using your arms using your legs uh, because you don't have rear suspension you have to use your legs to cushion everything um, you, you you, you feel the bike drifting and, and feel it underneath you and you actually have to become one with the bike. It's, it sounds very magical and all that, but I have, doing, have been doing it for a long time, so it comes naturally to me. But progress and you'll get there, you know. And in terms of line choice, do you find you have to be more precise than when you're on your hardtail? I mean, I think that goes without saying, but I mean, do you have to be a super pinpoint accurate or is there a little bit of leeway? No, on no, ones? for sure. I mean, you can, with the setup like this, you can negotiate your way through sections but you, you try your best to keep as pinpoint as possible um, keep them nice and smooth through the corners um, try to stay away from the big stuff but if you have to then you have to have the skill to 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 gap or jump certain sections you know? and then how much of a i mean in, in the grand scheme of the builders bike you emphasized it earlier that the drop post is is very important, very important. on a descent of this nature and others like would you say that it's 60 or 70 percent of, of the success factor of you being able to get through clean or no, what would you say i think it's a high is a high percentage of difference between running with a high seat post and then having a dropper it's it's chalk and cheese between it um look you could easily get down here but you're going to go much faster with a dropper for sure he doesn't want to go fast <laughs> So we're transitioning across to the next set of fun trail where Nils is going to go very fast but I think here yeah, we need to talk about uh, the pros of a hardtail and I would say pedaling efficiency is obviously yeah, definitely sure. one of those. Eh? Yeah. 
So, like a long day out, you just you have to eat less, you have to drink less, and honestly, um, you get so much more mileage in for the same energy. I think. And uh, also, when you want to hurt your mates on a climb, you can just destroy them because there's, there's zero flex. For sure. <laughs> That's definitely not something I do. Do this. Hopping in on some speed. You can keep up with all healthy boy. Okay, so dropping into the sections of sections. Go this low. Watch the corners. Like up there. It's very loose, so just getting around a bit here. Over the bridge. This section is pretty really overgrown now. Watch the rocks. Can't keep on the pedals. Jump out of this here. Over the rocks. Go over here. Woo! Get around here. Back on the pedals. Ooh. Got the drop. Yeah. Left. Let's fix this trail up a bit. Oh shit. Two drop. Back on the pedals. Like I say, choose your lines very well. Shut it. Whoa. Whoa. Your legs to the rocks. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Stay in the corner. Whoa. Pop. Right, and inside. And here we go. At the finish. I really love this place. So close to home, and you can get such a good ride in quite quickly. And back on the way. Cool. So, in summary, how hard can a hardtail be ridden? Well, I think for the most part, it depends on your ability to ride a hardtail. Um, a little bit of line choice, but uh, also the type of hardtail that you've got. What are, what are your top three points for people to take home when they've asked the question of how hard can a hardtail be ridden? As, I think as hard as you can and um, as hard as you want to and then maybe how, how hard can a hardtail ride is the question, you know? Um, yeah. So if you are looking to push your bike a little bit further, push yourself a little bit further, um, Nils' business is in Woodstock, Woodstock Cycle Works. I'm sure you'd be happy to advise you on what you would need to set up on your hardtail to make it go a little bit further and do a little bit more. Um, don't just head out there and, and wing it. Um, we don't want anyone to get hurt. So take a measured approach and um, work through it step by step. And by the, by the next time you ride your bike, you're probably going to be absolutely pinning it. So. <laughs> Thanks again to Nils for Thank joining you. us. Thanks, guys. And uh, yeah, folks, if you've got any questions, fire, fire away. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please give us a share. And we look forward to seeing you next week for the next episode. Until then, it's adios.